You know what? I started getting typecasts. That's, that's what it is. I started seeing that I'm going to be a courier, I'm going to be a prisoner, and I started to hate it. I think uh, casting and agents, they start to do this little thing where they go, he's this guy. And then they freeze you. You kind of just think, oh my God, here I am, I'm in prison again. Shit. And I actually, I walked out. I kind of just went, man, I'm tired of this. Until you people give me something else, I ain't even going to play. It comes down to this, okay, you see, at a certain point, you see that reality gets, you're creating reality. If the public sees me doing something, they think that's reality. It's their perception. If I show them a black guy with dreads in the future, I exist. If they never see that guy, he doesn't exist. If every black movie is filmed in the hood, that means that's where you belong. If all, only the white guys get to go to space and do all kinds of crazy shit, and you only... So what I'm saying is some people are going to say we're keeping it real and we're just showing you reality. I don't believe that. I want to see a movie where, shit, I can play God, I can play something, I can play something, you know. I'll tell you, one of my favorite roles, don't say a word, I played a morgue attendant. So I'm like a doctor in a lab coat. I love that. That was one of the rarest things. And... It actually, I'm proud of that because it wasn't your usual criminal. I ran into a friend of mine. He just finished working on Saw and he goes, he walked in and this white woman grabbed her purse on Young Street when she saw him and it fucked up his head because he was like, man, I just came off set. In her head, when she sees me, I'm a criminal because that's what she sees on TV. It's crazy because I've done stuff where a show like Witchblade, I used to like Weird Detectives. So my hair being a ponytail, I'd have my badge and everything. Because it's like, they could say that New York cop undercover narc. I've played the narc thing, and it's cool. Toronto, though, is in this little Stone Age backwards thing where I go walking outside, like I said, and I see all these dreads doing all kinds of jobs. My agent's going to call me and say, are you want to be a courier or a criminal? Some guys can play all these different roles and we brag about, oh, he's a great actor, he gets to play. I love Johnny Depp because he's a different guy every time. But how many black guys get to be a different guy every time? Gary Oldman, I see him in a movie and I don't know. I'm like, who the fuck is this guy? And I go, oh, it's Gary Oldman. At the end, maybe in the credits. To me, that's an actor. Did you see Chappelle's thing on Samuel Jackson where he plays the same guy all the time? And he's a brilliant actor. And you can see that every now and then he gets to stretch, but it's almost like he's in a box too, where he's the yelling guy. He's your daddy that you don't want to piss off. Actors want to act. They want to go in and they don't mind doing a character and saying, okay, yeah, you can typecast me a little bit, but every now and then just give me something else to stretch out to feel like, you know, that's really what it is. You, you understand why people are gonna look at you and say, okay, yeah, fine. Let him play a drug dealer. Give me something else every now and then just because. That's, that's really all it is. I don't mind repeating a role, but all the time, and when the actor gets to the point where he shows up and he knows what he's gonna do, he gets like, like a degenerate after a while. He just gets all fucked up and starts doing crazy drugs and, you know, after a while he doesn't care no more because he's dead. I, I heard that Marilyn Monroe, that wasn't her voice. She put on this voice and it worked. And then as she got older, she was trying to be like a real actor. But they were kind of trying to keep her at this character, at this kind of bubbly girl, this, you know, Betty Boop girl. And she was actually fighting, you know, and I'm sure that would affect you after a while. I watch Space Channel. I'm a big sci-fi. Like I said, I started, I would draw comic books and, and that's what, you know, got me into art in the first place. And I, I don't see any brothers in space. I, I don't like, and I'm like, what's going on? They have to be out there. So I, I don't know, I don't know. The, part, the one part is, do I wanna get paranoid and think, hey, they don't want me in the fucking future, 
So if they don't put me in a movie, then I don't exist, or they're just lazy. I don't, I don't know the answer. I don't want to know. I just want to create something different and go, wow, I never seen that guy before.